So SBR and STTR is called America's Seed Funding. they are two um, programs. You may often hear it referred to as just SBIR. The SBIR website is sbir.gov, um, but there's two separate programs, two, two funding pots, if you will. So it's the Small Business Innovation Research, SBIR, and Small Business Technology Transfer, STTR. The mission um, for both the programs is to support scientific excellence and uh, technology innovation through investment of federal funding um, to support critical American priorities to build strong national economy. These are the goals of the program. These are directly from the SBR website. Um, it's to meet the federal research and development needs, increase um, private sector commercialization of innovation, um, using federal funds to stimulate innovation, foster and encourage participation in entrepreneurship, um, particularly by women and socially economically disadvantaged individuals. And uh, the STR TR program also is um, supportive of small businesses working with uh, research institutions. So what's the difference between SBIR and STTR? Well, here's a, a, a helpful chart. For SBIR, um, partnering is um, permitted but is not required. Under STTR, it's required for the small business entity, SBE, um, to work with a nonprofit research institution. So a university, uh, a nonprofit partner, an FFDRC, it's um, part of the program that they partner um, for this funding. For SBIR, the primary employment must be with the small business for the PI on the project. STTR allows for the PI to be employed by either the small business or the research institution. Um, I will be getting back to this point later, so let's um, take a mental note of that one. For the work requirement, um, under an SP SBIR, the small business may subcontract. So if they want to partner, they may subcontract out to um, a research institution, 33% for phase one and 50% for phase two. For STTR, um, the breakout is 40% needs to be done at the small business, 30% at the research institution, and the other 30% can be done either at the small business, either at the partnering institution, or it can be further subcontracted out if needed. The way the SBIR and STTR program works is that the funding is um, a requirement. So if uh, the federal agency's extramural R&D budget is over a million, then they have to set aside 3.2% of that budget to the SBIR. And subsequently, if it's over a billion, they have to set 0.45% um, to STTR. So 11 agencies participate in the SBIR program in fiscal year 19, that was a budget of three, over 3 billion. And five agencies participate in STTR and in fiscal year 19, that was over 400 million. These are the participating federal agencies. These are the 11 that participate in SBIR and I've put an asterisk by the five that participate in STTR. SBIRs and STTRs are in um, three phases. So phase one is considered the feasibility and proof of concept phase. It can be anywhere from six to 12 months and the funding can range from 50,000 to 250. Um, and as many of you know, it, it depends and it's on the federal agency. So it's, you know, you need to um, read the solicitation and find out how much the agency is willing to give. Not all agencies give the full 250K, some do 100K. Phase two, so you apply for phase one, you win that award and then you apply for phase two. It's the research and development or building a prototype phase. This is considerably more money. It's for 24 months and can be anywhere up to $1.5 million. And then phase three is really not federal funding. It's the commercialization phase. So you take what you've done in phase one and phase two and then um, you bring it out into the world. So it's not SBR funding, but it's um, part of the process. And then two important takeaways that I think um, you always need to remember is the SBR and STTR are not alternative source for funding basic research. It is meant for small businesses to um, turn innovative ideas into 
products. It's meant to bring things out into the world. It's not the basic research that we often do at the university. It needs to have a technology and um, it needs to have a plan to commercialize it. Um, also, the small business is always the applicant. If the university is involved in an SBIR, SCTR, we are a subcontract to the small business. Mm -hmm.